Hey, welcome to Cosmic Tides. We're going to see how the cosmic currents are pulling for Scorpio. This is going to be your bonus love reading. Down below, I will have the timestamp if you want to skip past my talking. The links for my Spotify, Apple Music, and Instagram will be down there, as well as my email for $20 personal readings. Due to a high volume of requests, I need at least two, three days to get them done after transactions, so I appreciate you for your patience. Uh, what I have on the table is basically um, the person that you always think about. This is how they feel about you. And my hand would be um, your joint situation with this person. And then keep in mind these energies are interchangeable. So if this isn't your partner, this can be you or whoever you want to place this upon. So I'm being called to read this specific reading in two different ways. So I'm going to do the first reading if you're only dealing with one person and then the second reading is going to be if you're dealing with two people so I have here um, this is your life experience card this is your tower moment I feel like you are recovering from this though I feel like I see you dusting yourself off I see you dusting yourself off and getting ready to spread your wings and fly away from the situation because um, it's too much work when you deal with this person uh, life is out of balance, stress-related health concerns, and you kind of just end up hurting yourself at the end of it anyway. Yeah, it's like you always wind up hurting yourself at the end. Um, and this is also like too much work to make it work is what I'm getting. Like it's just too much work to make it work. And um, you're tired, de you're defending your yourself, um, your decision. You're going to um, walk away from this person. You're going to walk away from this person. This also causes conflict. But you're going to walk away from this person. You're gaining up your confidence to walk away. And um, yeah, I just see you here thinking things through carefully. For some of you, you have a codependency issue or a fear of being alone is what I'm getting. So um, yeah, you're asking, you're being asked to have the strength, to have the strength to not reach out to this person. Do not, um, yeah, don't reach out to this person. Do not, um, wow. Yeah, you're being asked not to reach out to this person, not to, um, open up to them emotionally about how you're feeling or missing them or whatever. You're just being very closed off and it's like the universe is translucent behind him and kind of like pulling him back. So, yeah, definitely being asked to be closed off when it comes to this person, have the strength to move away from them and go into this new direction. You're being divinely guided with this sword. Um, you're being very decisive too. It's like, no, I'm cutting this off. And then I have here, this person is looking at you like very spiritual. They may be seeing that you're looking for spiritual answers, looking for answers, looking for what to do. Um, or looking just within yourself, being whole within yourself. Like I said, uh, for those who have that codependency issue or fear of being alone, it's like you're looking within yourself to um, feel whole because the heart is right here. So you're really looking within yourself right now. This is also, um, this person is watching you spending a lot of quiet time alone. They see you alone a lot. Um, spending a lot of quiet, um, a lot of quiet time alone in meditation, spiritual teaching, self discovery. Some of you may be spiritual teachers or watching them. But this is really a lot of self discovery going on here for you, and um, this person just sees your um, intuition is on point. They see your spiritual growth is taking place, and they find, they're seeing you have a new home within yourself. And um, yeah, they know that this. Um, Closing out this cycle has caused a lot of conflict for you, um, but this was a successful completion of a project. This was a successful completion of a cycle, even though it caused um, it caused you some, um, I, yeah, just a lot of conflict, inner conflict. And also, this is like, I see you listening to your intuition, having patience, considering carefully what you want before acting, because... Um, this person still sees that you're attached to them and it's like you are trying to look within yourself become one listen to your intuition so these attachments can fall off just like that 
So, um, then I have you over here. So it's like, yeah, you're on this big spiritual journey right now. And it's like, you're gaining so much confidence and abundance along the way. And they're, they're watching this. They're watching you come into yourself, really. And they see you as very professional and practical. They see you as generous. They see you as a really good person. They see you um, surrounded in abundance and happiness of your own design. And they also see you um, walking away from them into a new direction. Um, embracing the change of your spiritual journey and expecting things to get better now and feeling that they really are. Which is really beautiful, beautiful energy to have. And then for those who are dealing with two people, um, I feel like you're walking away from the same situation, uh, dusting yourself off because, like I said, it's too much work to make it work. Um, life is out of balance. Um, stressful, stressful, stressful situation. Um, I feel like the person you're dealing with is really high maintenance. I feel like they're very codependent as well, and they need a lot of reassurance. And it's, like, just too much for you. It's too much. It's like, I don't want to deal with this. It's too much. So you're defending your decision, and um, you're going to go away from this person. You're going to you're gonna walk away from this person. And I have here, so um, don't get... Don't get caught up if it's like male or female or whatever because we all have divine masculine and divine feminine within all of us. So even though this is the night of fire, this can be a man, woman, or whomever walking into your life um, that embodies this night of fire. Passionate, adventurous, self-assured, restless. Also, um, this could also be a fire sign. Could be a Leo because we have the strength card here. So it could be Leo, Aries, um, Sagittarius, right? So when you leave this situation... Also, um, yeah, remember that codependency thing I was saying? So it's like, for those who don't have the second person here yet, it's because they are dealing with a codependency issue. So they need to um, basically do the first half of the, the, the reading, which is that soul work, looking within, uh, being comfortable with themselves, um, not being afraid to be alone is what I'm getting. And... Like I said, codependency for a lot of you guys is popping up in my brain. So um, that's, that's why this second person hasn't shown up for you guys yet if you were wondering why. Um, there still has a lot of soul work that needs to be done before this person can come in for you. But for those, uh, a majority of you who are already in this part of your journey, I see this person approaching you. I see this person approaching you and I see they're being a little bit hesitant. Um, because I see that they see you have your um, guard up. Your guard is up right now. And you're being very blocked off, closed off. You closed off your heart chakra. You're being, being very blocked off. And um, now I see this card two ways. So for some of you, um, it's just like you being very decisive about this person. Like, I'm not sure if I should let you in. And then it's this other person, um, that night of fire. Um, becomes the night of air and um, this is like idealistic tireless creative solutions it's like they're gonna try to like change your mind basically um, get you to open up to them in a playful way is what I'm getting so then I have here um, yeah so this person is really looking at you like they see that you're um, yeah they see you're on a, a spiritual journey they see you're on a spiritual journey. They see you're um, looking for your path. They see you looking for your path. They also see, um, yeah, you're trying to find a home within yourself. Spiritual growth, enhanced intuition. Um, yeah, they they definitely see that. They also see that um, it's like you're still in kind of dark, moody waters from dealing with this person that you were dealing before. That's also why you're very closed off. Then I have here, yeah, this is, um, this is what they want with you. They want to have, um, a new, they want to have a cycle with you. They want to have peace, contentment, and abundance with you. And, um, they see that you know that, that you know why, what they want. You know that they want something real, they, that you want a commitment, or that <laughs> they want a commitment. They see that you know that they want a commitment. However this resonates, take it. And um, whatever doesn't resonate, leave it. <laughs> but yeah, for some of you, they definitely see that you know they want a new cycle with you. And they see you listening to your intuition, trying to carefully consider what you want before acting, before you walk into this cycle. Because 
Um, you're still trying to, I see you taking off the attachments from your last person. I see you using your logic and your intuition. Yes. And then I have here. Yeah, I have here. This person is really looking at you as um, the king of earth. This is a successful time for you. Um, they see um, they see that the spiritual journey you're on is really making you happy, making you stable. They see that um, it's like you're complete already. You're complete already. And that's also why they want to walk into this new cycle with you. They want to walk into a cycle with you. Because um, they see this as a person that is very generous, professional, responsible, practical. Um, this is a, a successful time for them. Um, confidently accepting opportunities that they're offered. This is the Midas touch. Someone who's very lucky and happy and content where they are in life. And um, I feel like that's also has to deal with this down here. So it's like. You're offering them or they're offering you this new cycle to start a cycle with you for contentment, peace, and abundance. They see you considering this and they see you actually accepting this because confidently accepting the opportunities, you're actually going to accept this. And it makes you really happy and even more abundance. It brings more abundance to you. And you you walk off with this person in, in a new cycle um, in a new healthy cycle full of abundance, full of magical um, hidden things and love I'm seeing. So that's really nice energy I'm seeing. Oh, it's very blurry. I'm sorry. All right. So this is very nice energy I'm seeing. You also may be dealing with um, a fire sign. Um, yeah, you may be dealing with a fire sign, Leo, Taurus, Sagittarius. Definitely strong Leo vibes, though. Make sure you're checking your chart. And um, then we have... Um, could be a water sign. We have... Um, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Definitely could be an air sign. Uh, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Or it could be an earth sign. It could be... Um, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, maybe a Virgo because this Hermit card is here. So um, that's what I got going on for you guys. Overall, like I said, um, like, all right, if you're dealing with one person, basically you're just walking away from, um, from this toxic situation because it's too much work to make it work. And it's time to put that work into yourself. Um... I do see you being a little hesitant walking away from it because it's like I don't want to be alone and stuff. But um, I see you're going to push through this. You're going to be pushing through this. You're going to be searching within, soul searching for a lot of answers. And you're going to find um, happiness within yourself. Everything's going to make sense for you. These chains that keep you down are going to kind of like float off of you. And you're going to feel very content and happy where you are in your journey. And you're going to feel like things are really getting better. And then for others who are walking out of the situation and have another person coming through to, for them it's like this person really does mean um this person really d coming in really does mean um good they have good intentions for you is what i'm getting they really do have good intentions for you um and the fact that you're being closed off it's like okay well i'm gonna try anyway and hopefully this works right um and it's like you being over here i don't know i don't know if i want to let let them in right okay well I really like this energy though because it's like I see that they see your spiritual journey going on and they respect it and um, I feel like they're giving you the patience that you need, the patience and the time that you need to make your decision. I don't feel like they're forcing anything on you and um, it's really nice because it's like you give them the freedom to take this opportunity with you and um, they take it. And they, they are really happy. You guys get really happy. Um, so I really like that energy going on. Uh, really like that energy going on. Very nice. Um, I like that they... Um, yeah, it's like they're really trying to use their intuition when it comes to you. If they should accept your offer. But yeah, it's like something clicks and they accept your offer. It's like they see that you mean no harm. And that, um, that you have good intentions. So I really like that. Um... So I hope that was good for you guys. I will catch you guys next week, okay? All right, bye.